The 1920s had been called the Roaring Twenties because it was the birth of the modern age, filled with changes, new ways of thinking, and competing interests on how America should be. The roar was the noise America made as it grew up and dealt with its own growing pains. Many large circulation magazines started publication in the 1920s. Some of the most popular magazines included Vogue, Life, The New Yorker, and Time. These magazines printed illustrations and headlines that depicted the rapid changes in culture and lifestyle that were sweeping across the nation. The nation's first radio station, KDKA in Pittsburgh, began broadcasting in 1920. By 1925, 30 million listeners were tuned in. Almost every family could afford a wireless. They could enjoy music, sports, plays, news, and speeches in the privacy of their own homes. Two favorite comedies were Amos and Andy and Fibber McGee and Molly. By mid-decade, advertisers were sponsoring these programs to promote their products. Advertising would become big business from here on out. Films were silent, with the piano player providing the background music. Newsreels were shown before main feature and delivered the latest news. Most large cities had a large, fancy theater called Dream Palaces. Hollywood, California became the movie capital, mostly due to its sunny weather. Movie stars rose in prominence. Rudolph Valentino, Mary Pickford, Greta Garbo, John Barrymore, Norma Talmadge, and Harry Lloyd became household names. The most famous star was Charlie Chaplin, starring in The Little Tramp. The talkies began in 1927 with the release of The Jazz Age, starring Al Jolson. One year later, Mickey Mouse made his first film called Steamboat Willie. Professional sports took off in the 1920s, and sports stars also became heroes. Babe Ruth hit a record 60 home runs in 1927. Red Grange, the galloping ghost of Illinois, scored five touchdowns in one game. In 1926, 120,000 fans paid $2.5 million to watch heavyweight boxers Jack Dempsey and Gene Tunney. Tennis stars Bill Tilden and Helen Willis and golfers Bobby Jones and Walter Hagen became sports legends. Gertrude Elder became the first woman to swim the English Channel. But the greatest hero of them all was Charles Lindbergh. In 1927, he became the first person to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. He flew his plane, the Spirit of St. Louis, from New York to Paris in 33 and a half hours. Amelia Earhart was the first person to fly over both the Atlantic and the Pacific. She was an inspiration to women everywhere. Henry Ford put America on wheels in 1908. He organized a mass production system using a moving assembly line. Each worker performed the same task all day long. An entire car could be built in two hours. The auto industry gave birth to new industries like gas stations, garages, rubber, plate, glass, and tourism. Automobiles were called tin lizzies, and they became the new symbol of the 1920s. Cars gave people a sense of freedom they had never felt before. In 1925, the Ford Model T cost about $300 and came in any color as long as it was black. The 18th Amendment took effect in 1920, enabling the Volstead Act to be passed, which made alcohol illegal. Gangsters like Al Capone made fortunes in bootlegging, making and selling illegal alcohol. Some people made their own homemade alcohol called bathtub gym, but Thousands of otherwise honest citizens broke the law by visiting speakeasies. Chicago alone had 10,000 speakeasies, bringing in $100 million a year. Competition between rival gangs turned violent, and the murder rate went up. The most famous incident, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, was planned by Al Capone to wipe out his rival, Bugs Moran. Prohibition ended in 1933, when the 21st Amendment was passed. Many young women rebelled in the 1920s. They were determined to dress and behave differently than their parents. Older people called them the lost generation. Some, some young women called flappers wore short hair, short dresses, and lots and lots of makeup. They smoked and drank in public and went on dates without chaperones. They were exploring a sense of freedom 
after getting the right to, to vote. The 19th Amendment in 1920 gave women the right to vote nationwide. They listened to jazz music and danced to Charleston. Jazz became the most popular music of the decade. It began among black musicians in New Orleans, but made its way north when black people uh, did during the Great Migration. Two famous jazz musicians were Louis Satchmo Armstrong and Jelly Roll Morton. The most famous nightclub was the Cotton Club in Harlem. Many new household appliances were introduced in the 1920s. The vacuum cleaner, gas oven, electric refrigerator, and washing machine became common household appliances. These items made routine chores much faster and easier for housewives. It increased their leisure time, and they were able to do more recreational activities. Many women went to college to earn degrees, and a number of women in, in the workforce increased. Buying on credit and installment or layaway plans made it possible to buy now, pay later. Mass media and advertising made sure that whatever the next product was, you had to have it, and women were targeted as a new market to conquer. Americans also took part in crazy contests and stunts in the 1920s. Kissing contests, crossword puzzles, marathon dancing, goldfish swallowing, and flagpole sitting were just a few. The aim in marathon dancing was to dance longer than any other couple. One contest lasted over 100 days. Shipwreck Kelly set a record for sitting atop a flagpole 50 feet off the ground for 23 days and 7 hours. A transcontinental foot race was run between Los Angeles and New York. It took 84 days for the winner to cross to the finish line. Nonsense was the theme of the decade. Applesauce. New slang words enhanced the silly charades of the time. You're the cat's pajamas. Hot diggity dog, you bee's knees. I hope you have enjoyed your introduction to 1920 Changes in Modern Society and Culture. You're going to take this information now and you are going to design a magazine cover for either Vogue, Life, New Yorker, or Time that represent the changes of the decade.